What's going on guys, Honey for doing today and Rainbow Six Siege have revealed the newest operation which is Operation Wind Bastion and jeez this, this operation looks incredible. So it's got the two new GIGR operators and one new map location in the Atlas Mountains introducing the brand new Rainbow Six Siege season Operation Wind Bastion and obviously it's not talking about the Bastion from Bloody Overwatch. That game's dead. That Allow that game. We got the Operation Wind Bastion, a better Bastion and yeah basically all you just want to do is click this and it takes you to this page and it basically gives you information about the actual operation wind bastion so it's got for year three season four features the GIGR uh, which is obviously the Royal, uh, the Morocco forces and the fourth map and then it's got the for operation wind bastion and following a written agreement with the resident commander Roman Six Siege has secured permission to use the re known fortress located in the Atlas Mountains, you have the rare opportunity to test your skills inside a stunning mud brick cache enjoy unprecedented roof access, but do not try to stay focused despite the breathtaking oasis just next door. So what we can take from that, just from that paragraph, is that Operation Wind, Wind Bastion will have a actual real life like map location. It will have the ca uh, the mud brick cash burr, which if you press if you search on Google, which I kind of did pre pre for this video, uh, you can, so looking at this, you can see that it's literally a plain a plain ass building. It's got it's got the sandy effect. It looks like something from Minecraft, like you've built a house out of sand, sandstone brick or sand. But what you can take from this is that the windows. There's gonna be lighting in every room pretty much because these aren't actually like right here you get light, 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 light. Windows will have like as you can see in the is it this bit? As you can see here, you've got lighting. Like wind shaders to refer or to like block block out lighting, but they're actually letting lighting in with different patterns, which is pretty unique and we might have a load of patterns within game, so maybe some Valkyrie spots or Kavera spots big up Dangan Barrows because they'll find the Kavera spots but uh, yeah so let's just take uh, let's, let's find an image that looks decent let's start with let's start with this one this one looks decent so let's say this is the map which it is if they go in on the aspect of how big it is you've got one floor second floor here a third floor and a fourth floor obviously the fourth floor is going to be for the attackers to go on but you you, know, you might not know there might be like a secret rooftop where it has like access so there's a door so you can open the door or the reinforcement open the reinforcement and run out who knows we can't actually see what's on top of it except that it's gonna be a really um, probably a massive map, a fortress. What do you think, my fortress? This is gonna be big. There's gonna be probably a few Easter eggs in this, seeing as you got uh, newest Assassin's Creed game just came out, and the fact that this looks kind of something from Assassin's Creed Origins as well. I'm hoping there's some Assassin's Creed Origins Easter eggs because that game was that that game melted my heart. I loved it. But uh, yeah, moving back on to the Operation Wind Bastion. We're gonna move on to the first operator. The first operator is a defender and the commander himself. And if you take a look at this, you can see the actual commander right here in the like banner for Rainbow Six Siege. He's wearing or holding a umbrella type hatch opener or crowbar with a binoculars. But it says here, uh, uh, who is stu stole? I can't even say it. Stuck as the mountains are immobile. He is stationed as the country's legendary Kashba, a training ground that has shocked and ooh, I can't even say owled thousands of incoming soldiers, strict and imposing. He inspires respect and has taken it upon himself to guide the future of Moroccan special forces. So not much really right there, except for the mountains are immobile. That's what catches people's attention, and he's a training ground. Ooh. He's basically got loads of experience within this game. What does he look like? Just just look at him right now. Tell me in the conversation. Who does he look like? First first thought, this looked like Capitao. Like Capitao 2.0. This is a Capitao 2.0. But he's only better than Capitao 2.0, fingers crossed. Because Capitao, he's one of the operators that he's there, but you don't choose him. Because he's not 
he's not up to everyone, everyone of it all. All the other operators' levels. Like, I would rather have a Twitch than a Kamatea, or I'd rather be Sophia, even though I don't use Sophia, or Habana. Just, there's, like, hug his guns. I, I don't know why I'm talking about Kamatea, but as you can see, a crowbar. What do you reckon this crowbar gadget does? Because that's not, like, on his uniform. This is him. This is probably an actual weapon. Either. I don't know. It, it's confusing, you know? Like,. I'm going to read the next operator and then I'll come and go back to this. So it's got the second operator is an attacker who travels wherever the wind takes her. So just reading the sentence, it tells me that she's an attacker, the wind takes her wherever she wants, pretty much. So wind's pretty fast. She's got to be light if the wind's taking her. So that's a free speed operator right there. And it's got she's among the few explorers who can cross the Sahara Desert, climb up the Alps, trek through Asia's rainforest, and march along the Arctic Circle, and still remain in her unit in operational shape. Perceptive and res resourceful, she's an expert on environmental operators with a knack for pushing the enemy back. So what that told me was obviously she's a free speed operator, and she has the ability to somehow like a body armor or some short but if i'm looking at this she doesn't she doesn't look like she's got any gadget on her which i think this character right here has her gadget that umbrella or whatever it is i feel like that's her umbrella or her gadget but he's holding it to make it look like hold on what's what is that what is that you know why but we can also take from this image that she is holding a galil or ak i'm I'm going, I don't, the colour of it looks like a Galil, like the shape, but the, like the back end and this front bit looks like an AK, like, if we get any of these two weapons with an Operation Bastion, oh my day, nah, 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 these will most likely be the one of the most OP weapons in the game, because AK, if you've ever played it on card, dang boy, you gotta reach level like 48 to get that, or like 50, like, dang, but, but yeah, I feel like this um this gadget right here, which I'm got my cursor on, is something to do with her. Like maybe it's like a force field. She deploys it and it's a force field. That's why I think it is when she goes uh and still remain in her op uh, operational shape. Like how does she travel the Sahara Desert, climb up the Alps, trek through Asia's rainforest, and march from the Arctic Circle and still not take damage, or still not get hurt or anything? She's either she's either a body armor or operator. Oh, that's her gadget, and then Maestro Capiteo, whatever you want to call him, is gonna be either a defend, he's a defender, but he's gonna be. I feel like he's gonna have an LMG, an LMG or a, um, a shotgun, just because he he's stuck like a mountain. Obviously, a free a one bar free armor, but I don't know. You know, I'm confused. You tell me in the comments section what you think because I feel like I've cracked cracked her, but I haven't cracked him yet. But the whole reveal is November the 17th to 18th for these operators. Obviously, 17th will probably be the map. 18th will be the full reveal for the game. And these are in the Pro League Finals, which are not this week. It's next week. So next week, the 17th and 18th, the Saturday and Sunday, make sure you book your days off at work or school or whatever you are doing because you've got the Pro League Finals and then you've got my videos to watch because why aren't you watching my videos? I'm joking. <laughs> This game needs to come out with a bank, like, it needs to push the bike. This season needs to, like, go from tier 1 to tier 5 within a click, like Thanos did. Because you've got games like Black Ops 4 out, you've got FIFA out, you've got Red Dead 2 out, you've got Battlefield 1 coming out, you've got probably Just Dance 5 out. You've got, you got all these games, and it needs to raise the bar because players are going onto them games. Like, I'm, I'm being honest right here, I've kind of played more Black Ops 4 like within this last week than I have on Siege for the last month. Like the amount of fun I'm having on Black Ops 4 compared to Siege is is like and I love Siege as much but if you're playing Siege right now or as I'm playing Siege right now it's not fun. It's not enjoyable. It's just the same. I need to mm, I need something but I'm gonna end it right here. But anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit that like button down below. Find this video and for more click the share button. If you need to hit the subscribe button I'll see you next time. Goodbye.